How are you doing lads and lasses? I'm that random Scott, or you can call me as always Geordie, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Undertale. Woo! Getting excited for this one, everything's changing. We're, in Sno we're almost going to be in Snowden Town soon, we're going to find out the significance of this place, and of course, you know, the outfit's changed, the lighting's changed, I'm actually filming during the daytime right now, because I found out, you know, the rest of the people in the house weren't too happy with me, you know, talking loudly and recording at 5 in the morning, which was fair enough. So anyway, thank you once again for joining me, and you know, as, as always, I mean, I'm doing this for you, I mean, yeah, I'm enjoying it well, the whole time, but I'm wanting to entertain you, so please leave a few comments down below, let me know how you're doing, how you're enjoying the series, I mean, just getting, just let me know. I'm, you know, trying to make everybody happy. I can only do that with a wee bit of help, so, you know, as you, as you're watching, just post how you feel down below, what you find funny, what you find annoying, and then I'll, I'll figure some out for us. Okie dokie, so without much further ado, we got some, uh, some shit to be doing, some games to be played. Okay, so yeah, last time we, um, we ended up here after petting the lesser dog way, way, way too much. I mean, like, literally that happened. That actually happened. That shit right there actually happened in the middle of the fight. So, uh... And we spoke to this nice uh, cow-looking lady. She's saying about the dog running in here, all inspired. Anyway, oh goody, another puzzle. I'm so fucking thrilled. Oh, look at this. It's a snow papyrus. Nah, I thought it was something else. I don't know. It's a lump of snow with the word Sans written on it in red marker. Good job, Sans. Keep always uh, excelling, as usual. <laughs> right. There's got to be a secret, weird, a weird secret trick to be doing this. Oops. Well, that's near. Right, hold on. Hold on. X, zeros, and triangles. Oh, yeah, I need to start again with that one because I screwed up and it would not let me fix it. Anyway, I think we'll try along this way. Always good to be doing puzzles like this. I feel like Sherlock Holmes, like, making all these deductions, you know what I'm saying? Except the difference being is my deductions are a bit, a bit more simple compared to Sherlock's, but... Ooh. I guess they got the technology to do that kind of shit in the underground. I didn't even know. Oop. Wait, is this whole thing ice? Because that other thing looked like snow. Oh, okay, never mind. I got a free snow hat about it. Right, what is this? Woof. What a tiny dog house. Fair enough. It's a snow path. And this is a snow path. This, however, is a snow path. Surprisingly, it's a snow path. <laughs> How many more of these can they do? Snow path. Okay. I think we get the general idea. These are all snow paths. Is it really a snow path? I don't know, maybe. Behold, a snow path. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We get the idea. Eh? Oh, sweet. There's 30 gold inside. The what, is, what is this? I mean, I don't know, me so. I just got, th I just got 30 quid, found it in snow, fair enough, happy with that. Um, please do not let, aww, a little doggy, nice. We'll just walk past him. Holy shit! Save me. Please! I can't handle it! Ah! I'm... I'm high on life. Also a tiny bit insane, but that's... That's a story for another day, people. That's 
what my therapist needs to know and you guys don't. I'm joking. I don't have therapy. <laughs> hey, you're here to watch me play games. This is me playing games. I'm completely stupid. Okay, well, I assume beckon it first. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh. Fantastic. Woohoo, I didn't die. Greater dog is seeking affection. Well, I think it's time to pet him, don't you? Aww, oh, he curls up in my lap as he's pet by me. That's, that's adorable. I mean, the joke is these guys are really shit guards, to be honest. Like, you just pet them and they fall asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, you son of a gun. It's patting the ground with its front paws. Okay. Let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. The greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now a dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Hmm. Want some TLC. Okay, it needs more pets. But yeah, um... This enemy type does not make sense, but I love it. Also, this music is just like my jam. It's called Dog Song or something from the soundtrack. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still have any pet enough. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it stopped barking. It's bork, bork. Pet capacity is at 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. Critical pets! The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. Oh, you little turd. That, wow, that, I took a lot of damage from that. Okay, you're contented, cool. Peace. Ooh, 40 gold. Cheers, puppy. Ah. <laughs> okay then. Um, that that just happened. Yes, it is true. That that shit just happened. Now what's down here? Because I got a feeling if there's enemies in the area, then it's going to be leading towards a. Oh, what's this? What the? F Literally, what is this thing? It's like a reindeer, but. The face just like that's some Resident Evil shit there. Right, you confronting me? Um, let's undecorate him. I got a, f I got a feeling he, he isn't happy with that. That's a little better. Oh, oops. Gift trod is slightly less irritated. Okay. Let's keep on decorating him. He's obviously not liking it. Barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Ow. That's a little better. You cannot give up just yet. Jordy, stay determined. Well, I would. I, I, I died. Okay, I'm. I'm so embarrassed. Well, at least I saved up here, so I didn't take that long. However, I will have to fight the greater dog again. Oh dear. And I can't screw this up again. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, fast forward to this, and we'll pick it up when we uh, when we get back. Okay, and we are back, starting off the battle with this gift trot yet again. Hopefully, I will not die from this. I will. I will actually eat my nice cream, get my full health back, and then things. 
Ho ho ho, go ahead and laugh! Whoa, 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 whoa. How am I alive? How am I alive? Anyway, I'm decorating seem to work, so... Yeah. That's a little better! Just say, how am I, uh, how am I... Ah, ah, how am I surviving that? Give Troy is slightly less irradiated. No, irritated, sorry, I've been playing too much Fallout New Vegas. Um, yeah. Lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. Cool. That's a little better! Okay, most of the repeating dialogue I'm just not bothering with myself. Yep. Uh, keep on decorating. Remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. That's... That's what, I, that's what I call a f stocking fellow, that one. <clears throat> a weight has been lifted! Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't want to attack, so that's cool. Yeah, I can, uh, I can mercy him now. Oh, yes! 20 gold. And up here... Ooh. Mystical. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's an Easter egg I seen uh, on Reddit. You have to do like a whole load of stuff for that to open, and I just can't be bothered. I mean, there's nothing really inside that's that interesting apart from the dog room. I mean, I might do that eventually. Anyway, let's move on to the main storyline. As you can see, I already went and defeat, uh, defeated Greater Dog earlier, so that's not a problem. Now we're on a weird rickety rope bridge, this should be fun. Oh, hello chums! Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Well then. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Uh, well, uh, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Wait, was that dog just dangling on him? Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! <laughs> well then, that was amazing. Sup, Sands? I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would, uh, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay. Blue attacks don't move. Like a blue stop sign. <gasps> guys. Guys, we're here. Welcome to Snowden Town, everybody. Ah, uh, well, first you got in, a shop, and a lovely little save location. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yes, please, save, for the love of goodness. Okay, um, for now I'm going to leave the snowman piece in there. Get the tough glove, check out my menu, find out which what each does. Oh, weapon at five. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not needing any weapons whatsoever, so... I can probably sell them at the shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Oh, what? 
Oh, I gotta get some cinnamon. I gotta get a couple of cinnamon buns. They're good shit. Oh, a bicycle. I like them. You get two in one, pal. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to use. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and use bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Well, okay, bitch. I don't. Bye now. Come again sometime. Yeah, I don't need to sell you my shit. I don't need you. Okay. Well, we got a nice little bit of exploring to do here. But let's check the inn. No, let's not. Because we don't need to actually sleep. That's the thing. Let's just do. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Well, you must have, you must have got our gal in Butte Council on that one, mate. Efficiently laid out. Laid out. Wouldn't, we wouldn't ever understand it. Right. Okay, who's this dude? That lady over there? Something about her disturbs me. What about her disturbs you, mate? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bam Bam's are so adorable. Tee hee hee. Oh, I'm sorry, she said tee hee, not tee hee hee, but okay. Creative liberties. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we start giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Cool. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Fair enough, mate. Yes, that, that's logic. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Skeleton will tell a fish lady. Cool. I mean, a fish lady. I, I think they're talking about Undyne, to be honest, but I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Did I miss anything back here? No. Okay, moving on. Grillies. Oh shit, this is my jam. Hey look, it's the dogs. This is where the dogs hang out. This is legit. No matter where I go, it's the same people and the same menu. Help, I want new drinks and ha 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 hot guys. Huh. Is the human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some slitty city slickers slip on their butts! Ha ha ha! Yes, quite. The jukebox is broken. Figured as much. Let's let's see what me doggo friends are up to. You better watch out where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but uh, we never get any respect. I wish I wish those skeletons would throw us bombs. We love bombs. Cool. That's good to know. Sup, doggo. I'm thinking of getting spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Also, to be fair, for some of these background character voices, uh, if it's been a couple of episodes between um, seeing them last, the voices may be different because my memory isn't that good. Yeah, 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 we heard all about you. Uh, 
Is, is this big dog here just tromping all over the place? What are you doing, little buddy? It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Ah, poor lesser dog. Can't do anything right. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Cool. Those dogs are part. Those dogs are part of the royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I mean, to be fair, if it's violent or loud or got swear words in it, kids nowadays are going to be all over that shit. Dot 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 dot. Grilbs. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay, moving on, we're getting out of here. Having way too much fun. <laughs> Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't, we can't do anything, so why be morose about it? You know, my, my man's got a point. This this dude's got a point. Okay, okay, okay. What's this? Let's play Monsters and Humans. Uh, uh, wait, are these talking? I'm gonna make maybe. The, oh, yeah, these guys are actually talking. I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah, I'm not giving voices to everybody. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Well, that guy sounds like a weirdo. What's up here? Literally nothing. It's over here. Cool. Giant werewolf things throwing ice into the water. I can approve of this shenanigans. Okay, so what have we actually got to do next? Oh, look, a library. Okay, we're going to leave it here. We're in the library. We're about to talk to some people or check out some books. But do feel free to join me next time on Let's Play Undertale with me, that random Scott. Or as always, you can call me Jordy. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Everything will be fantastic and there will be a great future in it for all of us. That made no sense and it made it sound way too dramatic. Uh, just, if you like what you see and want to see more, just subscribe. Pure and simple. Um, I'm doing this either way. So, have a great life, and have a great day, and I'll see you next time.